so today I will uh, talk about uh, uh, the PR correspondence uh, so uh, introduced by Faltings and uh, I gave uh, one a slight modif uh, variant of his <laughs> uh, theory okay so before uh, so first I, I'd like to explain the what Faltings did and uh, to explain it I, f I first uh, fix several notations and And so, so V uh, denotes uh, not a representation, but this is a complete uh, DVR of uh, mixed characteristic uh, zero p, and I assume that the residual field is uh, algebraically closed, and uh, and K denotes. Uh, it's field of fractions, and as usual, k bar is its uh, algebraic closure, and v bar uh, denotes the, uh, its ring of integers, and also uh, c is the completion of k bar, so, so it's uh, uh, yeah this field, and I also use. Uh, ring A inf V, which already appeared in several lectures. And so this is uh, just defined by uh, uh, the bit ring of the project limit of the reduction mod P of V bar. And the project limit is taken with respect to Frobenius. And this is the ring used in to uh, construct the periodic period rings. And, uh, and as it is well known, uh, we have a natural uh, surjective ring homomorphism, and its kernel is generated by one element, uh, yeah, usually denoted by Guzai. And Guzai is, uh, in fact, a, a non zero divisor in this ring. And, uh, and finally, I define A sub N V bar to be the reduction of this uh, yeah, modulo N its power of Xi. Yeah. So N is a positive integer. OK. So so, so this is a short surjective homomorphism. So, for n, if n is equal to one, so then this is uh, isomorphic to this uh, completion. Yes. So this is a notation, and so yeah, so I first explain the periodic Simpson correspondence uh, by things and so we consider a proper smooth scheme uh, over a field K and uh, and and uh, we want to compare the two objects one is a, a finite dimensional C representation of the fundamental group so representation of a fundamental group and and we want to compare this with uh, X a bundle on X K bar and so so and we want to uh, compare uh, these uh, two objects and of, uh, I didn't recall the theory over C, but on the over C, we on the left hand side we consider the uh, the, uh, the finite dimension of uh, C represents C is a complex number in in that case uh, of uh, pi one, and here we consider a Higgs bundle uh, satisfying uh, certain conditions or semi stability and so on. And so it is natural to ask uh, the periodic uh, analog. Of the correspondence, and uh, so to study this uh, correspondence, Faltings uh, 
uh, use uh, the category of uh, modules on on the so-called faulting site, and it's a bit, it's something like this, and so this is a, a, a faulting site, and uh, and so what is uh, so I, I don't want to give a precise definition of site this site, but the the shift uh, is. Uh, 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 is uh, looks like this uh, can be uh, given by the following data. So shift on this side is uh, the following data. So so for each et al scheme, uh, we are given uh, uh, some shift on the finite et al side of the geometric generic fiber, and and also for. Uh, so for a morphism between the two etal scheme over x, uh, so say uh, g, then uh, we have a map from the pullback of fu to the fu prime, <coughs> and uh, and uh, plus some uh, uh, gluing condition with respect to Ital covering. What did you write in the subscript? Mod. Uh, which? Mod, you wrote mod uh, chi faulting side and then for x mod p to the. Okay, so I actually I I I'm thinking of, of a comp, a project sim system of uh, the module over the reduction mod p power of p. Yeah, so maybe I don't know how to write. Yeah. And the rationals, yeah, because we work with C here. And uh, yeah, this is a category. And uh, so first, uh, he proves that the, so the theorem of faulting is that we can easily construct a functor, natural functor, from uh, from here to here. And faulting uh, shows that this is fully faithful. Yeah, and then so and then uh, he compare uh, this uh, some uh, compare the, some uh, vector bundles on here uh, with Higgs bundle. So next, I will explain this part. Ah, so I, I have to. I, I'm sorry. I I, I forgot to uh, define the what is uh, the structure shift. The structure shift is uh, okay. So what is OX? To define OX uh, using that, that that description, it is enough to define uh, OX U for each eta scheme U. And to define this shift on finite eta sites, uh, it, it is enough to define its section of a finite eta scheme over the geometric generic fiber. And so this is just given by the uh, section of uh, this scheme. And V norm is uh, uh, integral closure of U in <coughs> V. So this would be the is the same. Ah, okay. Uh, how, how to you? <laughs> so I don't know how to write. <laughs> okay, why? Why? Why is used or? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, but, uh, and for that part, uh, actually, faultings. Uh, Established a local theory, uh, lo uh, uh, local theory for this part. Okay. So, so. In, 
yeah, so so maybe let me see. Uh, yeah. So we consider the affine eta scheme over here and assume that the uh, uh, coordinate uh, consisting of invertible uh, functions. So this is uh, sometimes called small uh, affine. And uh, then uh, we consider uh, this field of fraction and uh, it's, uh, ah, so I have to also assume that R is, uh, so this is connected here. And, uh, okay, so, yes, and uh, we consider the algebraic closure. And then, uh, uh, so in order to study the sheaf on parting site, we consider the stock of R bar is the stock of OX at the, this generic point, geometric generic point. Yeah. So this is, yeah, this is, uh, uh, in, in fact, the integral closure of R in the, uh, in the maximal unramified ex uh, extension of, of the generic fiber in K bar. Yeah. OK. But this is not finite the charge. Not finite. Uh, so it's a union of finite. Uh, it, uh, not, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, so, uh, uh, so the union of a finite, uh, yeah, on the generic fiber. So if you invert P, then this is a union of finite uh, uh, scheme over the generic fiber. Yeah, and, uh, and then uh, we take the intercrosure of R. So this is a usual ring uh, we used in the pierre Koch theory. Uh, okay, and so delta U yeah, is a Galois group of R bar of R. And then, uh, so, Excuse me, X is, over, is only over K, the fraction field, or it's more than one? Oh, what? Absolutely. I, I made a mistake, actually. So this is, I have to add a V bar. And, and I it was not to be the, just generic. What is the generic? Oh, I'm sorry. So uh, that's <laughs> it's a mistake. So I have to start with, uh, from uh, X over V. Yeah, I'm sorry. I made it, yeah, x over v, yeah. So, yeah, smooth over v, yeah. Uh, so good reduction, yes. yes. And that also we, pick, uh, we fix a model, yes. Okay, so then, uh, so Faltings proves that uh, uh, finite free module uh, with continuous semilinear delta u action uh, and, and such that uh, so the some small, smallness condition is a trivial modulo p to the alpha for uh, some yeah so uh, 2 over p minus 1. So this condition is usually called, uh, uh, he calls the con this condition small. So, and then uh, he proves that there is an equivalence uh, with uh, uh, also finite free R V bar hat uh, so maybe it's better to write like this V bar hat module M uh, with theta theta is something like this uh, let me see R uh, 
R V bar, omega 1 R V bar over V bar, and xi inverse. I will explain the meaning of uh, xi inverse later. So this is just a, so for Higgs field, we consider uh, just a linear map. And, uh, and if you take the wedge product, so then this becomes uh, such that uh, wedge product is 0. So this is a definition of Higgs uh, uh, bundle, uh, the integral Higgs bundle in this uh, case, we consider like this. And xi is the same, the xi appear there. And, uh, okay. and uh, also, we assume the divisibility theta is divisible by P to Z alpha for alpha uh, for some uh, alpha bigger than 1 over P minus 1. Yeah, this is a, a local uh, No, no. So just say, yeah. So, yeah. So the actually the the middle category in the middle we can consider a kind of vector bundles, but uh, the category is much bigger than the representation of the fundamental group of pi one x. So it becomes a bigger category, and then uh, he proved that yeah, under some smallness. Is it an exact equivalent? Because I think I saw in some talk that you lose a little bit in the R that is if you go. The, so you claim it's an exact equivalent. You don't have to go to alpha begin. Oh, for some alpha from both sides. Yeah, for some alpha, both for both. Yeah. We don't. I, I don't fix alpha. So. Yeah. Okay. So, and then uh, uh, so uh, he also established a global theory. And also, uh, uh, also QP theory, yeah, also QP theory, and uh, also some comparison of cohomology. Uh, for QP theory, uh, QP and global theory. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, so for comparison, we also have a, a local. Version. So yeah, so yeah. However, so the the so in this uh, construction, uh, uh, so f we uh, need to <coughs> choose a lifting, global lifting, a smooth lifting. Yeah, of x2 over x2, a uh, smooth lifting of x, uh, x, uh, x1. x1 is the base change of this uh, to the former scheme of uh, v bar, com the periodic completion of v bar. And so this is uh, the same as a1 v bar. And uh, we need to choose a smooth lifting in his theory. And actually, so, uh, so Abes and Gro uh, give an, an, another approach uh, to this theory. But still, uh, they uh, need uh, to choose a smooth lifting. And, uh, and so, so in this talk, uh, so today uh, I just give a formulation. Without uh, x2, so without this lifting. Yeah, and but so to do that, I work with uh, a kind of crystals instead of x, uh, x modules. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's ah. So, and so yeah, I, I forgot to give a definition of uh, Guzai inverse. So this is just a, a 
tensoring this uh, inverse to something. Yeah. And so this is a, a free Weaver hat module of rank one. So just uh, normalization. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, this is free. So, but uh, there is no canonical choice of basis. So uh, we have to write like this. OK, so now uh, so I will explain uh, first the definition of Higgs uh, crystals or Higgs ice crystals. And then explain uh, how uh, this theory is uh, interpreted in terms of Higgs uh, crystals. OK. OK, so to do that, first I, I will explain uh, an analog. So crystals uh, is, of course, defined uh, uh, using a certain PD thickening. And, uh, and speedy envelopes plays an important role. And so I first explain what is an, an analog of PD envelopes for Higgs field. And uh, so instead of PD thickening, we consider the following. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, so no, no. So first, uh, we consider the following category. I just write by C. And so the object is that uh, a sequence of uh, uh, periodic formal schemes uh, over a n v bar. So a uh, uh, sequence of excuse me, excuse me uh, immersions. is like this. And, the, and uh, satisfying the condition that so for n bigger than 2 <coughs> are closed immersion and, uh, uh, and its reduction mod p is just new potent. And so then uh, we consider the full subcategory, which plays the role of uh, PD thickening in our theory. But uh, well, we have a category in, on various levels. So, so R is a positive integer or infinity. And so this is a, a full subcategory consisting of Y n uh, such that the following satisfying the uh, following four conditions. The first is that uh, just this is closed immersion. Okay, and uh, also flatness over Z p. So this is p torsion free. And uh, the third condition is, in some sense, uh, I'm not sure whether it's, com it's really the same. But uh, uh, in some sense, I def want to also define the flatness over a n of v bar. Yes. And so but I define it. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's, this, it, it's the same as flatness. But uh, anyway, so, so this condition is. Uh, necessary. So exists a uh, factorization like this. And that is uh, multiplication by xi gives a map from OYN to OYN. And it factors through the, uh, the YN minus 1. Uh, and uh, also, so factor through the injective homomorphism. OK. 
And the last condition, uh, no, not exactly the same as flatness. Uh, flatness after inverting uh, P or something, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, anyway, so I assume this condition. And the last con so here I, I don't use R. So, and uh, in the last condition, R appears. So, okay. I have no place to write. So, so we define the filtration uh, is just by kernel of O y n to O y small n if n is smaller than n and zero if uh, n is bigger than n. So, so this is a decreasing filtration uh, defined by this sequence. And then uh, uh, we have that uh, this filtration is gen uh, generated by O xi n to the power of xi n. If, so this is uh, if r is infinity. And uh, in the, if r is finite, so then uh, the condition is like this. Uh, so p times o y n is contained in xi n o y n. For n is for n uh, lies between 0 and r. So uh, if r is finite. So this is a condition. So that's all. OK. Oh, the reason why we consider C? Yeah. OK. I, I, I will give an example uh, yeah, later. Uh, OK, so, uh, so then uh, by condition, you can uh, easily check that the C infinity is the smallest uh, one, and, uh, and uh, it, becomes, it becomes smaller and smaller if R be becomes bigger and bigger, and so over C and all are contained in C. OK. So then the first proposition is the analog of uh, uh, divided power envelope. And so the, the claim is inclusion functor from CR to C has a right a joint, right, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wrote by Higgs. Okay. So this is the first uh, thing, first proposition. So this is uh, not very difficult to check, and so I just. Uh, I give an example which uh, we use uh, in the theory of Higgs crystals. So suppose that we are given a, an affine object in, in this category. Uh, C, uh, for simplicity, I only explain in C infinity. OK, so this is uh, just, uh, the compatible system of uh, Algebra over a n v bar and uh, such spine uh, that condition. Yes. Yeah. So the affine object, and then uh, we want to consider the, the another object of C. So so we consider object of C, which is y one. Uh, y prime and y1 prime is the same as y1 so and uh, and i consider the yn is just a uh, convergent power series uh, say t1 to td so then uh, you can take uh, a joint so 
for the for the infinite level. And then uh, what we obtain is uh, is something like this. Td. Yeah. So, so this is just just uh, in some sense. Uh, 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 just taking a blowing up, yeah, blowing up of y1 prime inside uh, yn prime for uh, n is bigger than 2, yeah, and partial blowing up, yes, and make it the, the ideal defining y1 uh, prime in yn prime invertible. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, the ideal defining y1 prime in y n prime. We want to make the ideal uh, g is uh, generated by Guzai. And so to, to do that, we have to yeah, blow up, and then you get this kind of things. Yes. OK. And, and so this Guzai uh, the, the, in the denominator corresponds to this one, in fact, uh, later. OK. Okay, now uh, we are ready to define the site to define uh, uh, Higgs crystals. So, 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 yeah, and R is the same as before. And uh, so the object is just uh, uh, <coughs> the, just the object of CR plus a morphism uh, of T1 to XR. Ah, so X1. So X1, X1 is uh, I defined somewhere. Uh, I forgot. So I, I recall. <laughs> so this is uh, uh, this scheme. Yeah. Ah, no. Ah, formal scheme. And uh, so this is just a pair. And morphism is, uh, this is obvious, uh, morphism in C compatible uh, with Z. And topology is, we can choose uh, either Zariski or et al, but here I choose et al. Topology. Yes. So X1, it's a, it's a steel spec also for ah, D bar. Ah, X1. Yeah, X1. This is spec also for D. So X1 is only skin. You see it as a formal skin, but it's. No, no, I uh, said <coughs> yes, so, so so you for my skin. Ah, so. yeah. you put. No, I have this. is not uh, OK. Great. Okay. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, just the same as uh, taking a formal completion along the special fiber, yes. Ah, so this is, I'm sorry, this is defined over spec V, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. And so then, uh, okay. Uh, and then uh, we define a structure shift. A structure shift is just, uh, uh, let me see, uh, x1 over a v bar plus T Z is just a global section of O T one. So I just uh, look at only look at the structure shift of the first component of T, and ignore the other <laughs> component. But uh, but it uh, still uh, this uh, has a good uh, uh, property. I don't no no the module over this uh, gives uh, 
uh, interpretation of peak size crystals. I will explain now. OK, so anyway, so this is just a sheaf. Of course, you can define a sheaf of using Tn, but uh, I didn't discuss here. Yeah, I only work with T1. Uh, excuse me, what? what? Z uh, is any morphism. Ah, so morphism over, over yeah, uh, morphism over V bar hat, uh, yeah. Yes, so yeah, it's uh, something like uh, we have uh, uh, yeah. uh, so, okay. Yes, yeah, so, uh, just just uh, yeah, morphism over this one. Okay, so then in the similarly as a crystal inside, uh, the module can be defined by compatible system of sheaf on each uh, this each T that is. So the module of the structure shift is equivalent to give um, for each t uh, give uh, OT1 module on of ft on 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 the tail side of of the t1 and uh, and also for for each morphism between this object uh, just give a map from ft to ft prime on here, and uh, plus uh, some co-cycle condition. So this is the same as the Higgs, uh, other usual crystals. Yeah. And the point is that uh, here we only look at T1, but here we have the morphism de uh, is defined uh, over a and V bar, so we have many morphisms. So, the, so this data give, uh, uh, gives some uh, 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 some structure corresponding to Higgs uh, uh, field. Okay. So, and so Higgs ice crystal. So I, I only uh, discussed. Uh, with QP theory in this talk, so uh, so Higgs isocrystals. So this is defined. So this is defined. Uh, Higgs isocrystals. So let me see. Higgs isocrystal on this side is. But you can, if you know the definition of crystals, so you can easily guess. So this is a. Uh, 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 so this is a. Uh, uh, this is an uh, O x one over a v bar tensor Q modules F uh, on this side. Yeah, we consider this. Such that uh, first condition is that uh, I assume that this is finitely generated projective. Uh, so, but this I, I don't explain precisely, but etar locally on X. So actually, so I <laughs> just I give this strange condition because I don't know well about the. Uh, theory of uh, modules uh, because we consider I didn't assume that it's Noetherian, so I don't know uh, well about that uh, module over on, on such periodic formal scheme. So I just give us a little bit strange condition that this may not be necessary. And so the second condition is that uh, so this is an isomorphism for all. For all the 
OK. So this is a definition of a, a Higgs uh, ice crystal. So this is very simple. OK. So this is, uh, OK. So now uh, I will explain how this uh, 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 Higgs size crystals are related to uh, Higgs bundles I uh, explained uh, uh, here. Uh, OK. So, so, so no, so this is not a such. This is not a big theorem, so maybe it's better to write proposition, yes. Yeah. I gave an Yeah. So so to have a comparison with uh, Higgs bundles, we have to assume the existence of uh, uh, lifting. Uh, assume that uh, we are given a compatible system of smooth lifting. Yeah. Uh, of x1. Then it gives an equivalence of category. So here I have to choose the lifting over all n. So it's a little bit, the assumption is a bit strong. But uh, anyway, so we have an equivalence of categories uh, like this. So I, uh, I will write the, uh, so this category is so HCQP of R of x1 over a v bar. I just write this category like this. And then, so this category is equivalent to the, to the category of Higgs bundle with some condition. OK. So I will explain uh, So, what is this. OK. So this is, uh, so the object of this is, uh, uh, so locally finitely generated projective OX1 tensor module. Uh, E plus uh, this uh, Higgs field uh, uh, OX1 tensor Q linear. <coughs> and uh, I have to At two conditions. The first condition is uh, just a definition of Higgs field. So, and the second is uh, one is a convergence. And uh, for uh, for 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 local, it, so the condition is local. So for local coordinate, if you choose a local coordinate on some on some affine. Uh, uh, so this is et al over x, and uh, 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 define. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Put. Then, uh, so we c we can describe theta by uh, a d endomorphism. So I equal one to d and xi inverse d log ti. Then, so this theta i has some convergence. Yeah, satisfying some convergence. So uh, the convergence is, is something like, 
So m bar is uh, uh, in the element of this uh, set, and uh, so multi-index and over r times let me see um, theta m bar x. So this is a product of theta i m i. So this guy goes to zero for or x e. So this is a condition, and so and so and so this. This symbol means the uh, uh, smallest integer uh, not smaller than less than or no 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 bigger than no bigger than or equal to a a yeah yeah so this convergence yes so this is a first uh, proposition and and to prove this. Uh, I have <laughs> little time, so okay. Uh, so I only have fifteen minutes. I no, right? Yeah. <laughs> me, I have to. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so yeah. So so this is just uh, uh, so proof is uh, so I have to <laughs> go to my. Yeah, it's difficult to. Finish everything. I no. <laughs> okay, okay. I will try to ex uh, explain a little bit about the proof. So this is just a use uh, 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 the, the uh, stratification uh, using uh, D one. So D one is a Higgs envelope of. Uh, of this one, uh, so so the first component in x one and uh, so the component in bigger than two is just a product. And then if you take this envelope, then you have a description like this and some modification of this. And so then uh, by using this, you uh, using this description, uh, you get this uh, uh, equivalence yeah, through this stratification. Yeah. Okay, so so now uh, so so I I I will explain the cohomology, and so so here the so, so uh, I didn't explain the reason why we use, uh, use uh, why we consider uh, Various levels, but uh, here I need uh, to take the projective limit uh, of uh, of this site. Yeah, the projective uh, limit. So, so if you are, are varies, uh, we can the, this uh, const, uh, gives a project system of site, and so you can take the project limit of this site, and you I, I just write by dagger. And so then, uh, so if you take the project limit, so then this give a, a, a good cohomology. So, in in the sense that this gives a uh, no. Huh? Uh, this gives a cohomology of Higgs vector bundles if uh, we choose a lifting of x one over a n of v bar. So, so the first, so the theorem is that. So if you, as before, if you have a. So smooth lifting. The uh, and f is a x crystal uh, of Q P of x. But and if you take a lift, uh, 
we have a corresponding, uh, so this is proposition by proposition two, we have a co corresponding Higgs bundles. Ah, uh, no, x1 over v bar. And so then, uh, so yeah, this is uh, corresponding. And also, I write f dagger is a pullback of f uh, on, on this dagger site. Uh, so x1 over something. So then, uh, uh, so we have a canonical isomorphism between the two cohomology. Uh, uh, one is the cohomology of this site, f dagger, and the other is just uh, yeah, x, uh, let me see, x one of the, this, uh, uh, the complex defined by this Higgs field. Uh, yes. So, so the, the, the weight of the theta is uh, zero. So theta weight theta is zero. So you, you can make, uh, using that, uh, you can define a complex whose differential maps are linear. And so you can take a, a hypercohomology. And then uh, also on this, then we can consider this uh, uh, cohomology on, on this project limit site. And then uh, there exists a canonical isomorphism. So this gives, uh, so if you have a lifting, so then this gives, uh, yeah. The proof is that uh, we, that's basically the same as a crystalline case. So we have to, we take a resolution on, of F on R or some R prime bigger than R. And so then, so on each, uh, on each R, uh, the resolution, uh, the uh, no no linearization. We we consider line, analog of linearization, and linearization is uh, does not give a resolution on each step or on each level. But if you take a limit, so then you get a resolution, and uh, the resolution is uh, in yeah in some sense uh, uh, yeah yeah uh, complex of uh, some over convergent power series, and so. And so that's why I write dagger in this site, for this site. Yes. So this is the reason why we consider a, a site with various levels. OK, so now I have to explain the periodic Simpson correspondence in terms of this. Yeah. OK. So this is actually not very difficult. to define this functor. So, so first uh, we consider <coughs> a fine object uh, as before, and consider R bar, and also uh, we can consider R inf R bar. Yeah. So this is a bit ring of the project limit of R bar and, and Frobenius. And uh, a n r bar is its uh, reduction mos like n, and uh, the and so so these rings actually give an object of this site. So how so that is uh, so this uh, becomes a compatible system of a sequence. This gives uh, a compatible system of scheme over a and v bar. And so this is an object of C actually infinity. And also we have a map from, uh, so this is a periodic completion to SPF. So this is uh, some sense U1. Yeah. And so, no, 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 X1. So we have a natural map, and so we just obtain an object in this site. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, there is a natural action of the 
uh, fundamental group of uh, delta, so yeah, fundamental group delta u, uh, which I introduced in the beginning. And uh, so, so, so having this just by evaluating the crystals, you uh, get a, a representation of delta u. Okay, so yes. So, so if you are given Higgs crystal, uh, yeah. So then uh, one can evaluate uh, this on on this object. Yeah. So we evaluate on this object. I just write like this. So this is uh, uh, actually alpha uh, one module plus uh, semilinear delta u action. And so then, uh, so this is uh, so if uh, you take uh, sufficiently small u, then this gives uh, actually. Uh, uh, no, so this is, I, I work with ice crystal, so I have to pencil uh, this one. So then, uh, so this uh, naturally gives a, uh, uh, so, alba hat module plus semilinear delta u action. And this is the same type of representation appear in the Fouting's uh, theorem. Okay, so now, uh, by very, very, so, if, if considering all, all uh, sufficiently small u, uh, we get a uh, so varying uh, u, we obtain a functor or a, a cor the Higgs correspondence in one direction. So, so this one, two, two, where? <laughs> so so I, I write dr Higgs. Now actually, so, uh, so there is a, so we want to go to the Fouting's topos. And so here, as I explained before, so this is a compatible system of module over OX module some power of P, a projective system. Uh, of uh, OX uh, module some power of P. So, uh, so to construct a, a functor, we have to choose a lattice uh, of, of F, but it is not, uh, uh, this is not very easy because actually if you define a, a isocrystal uh, for, yeah, yeah, so anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, so to define a lattice, I have to, use uh, the level infinity uh, isocrystal, but, uh, but uh, anyway, we have certain integral version uh, uh, of this one, and we have to tensor Q. And so the category may not coincide, so I didn't check it. So we have, actually, we have a functor from this full subcategory uh, of from here. So the integral version uh, uh, inverting uh, P, yeah. So this is a functor, and so now I staged the two theorems. And, uh, and actually, so I didn't write, but uh, I don't write, but uh, 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 so if you vary R, so then this category is the same as the category considered by Faltings, uh, uh, actually, yeah. And uh, and also the functor becomes the same as the, the functor considered by Fouting's, and so then the f and the first theorem and uh, is that this functor is fully faithful. Yeah, Fouting's also did, 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 uh, studies the essential image, but I don't discuss uh, here. And the second theorem is uh, is a comparison of cohomology, and uh, so 
Ah, so now, so this is the last theorem. So if you, uh, so if, 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 if you consider a crystal uh, of finite level, uh, so, and if dagger, uh, as before, that, that is a pullback to, uh, uh, to the dagger uh, site. So then uh, uh, exists canonical isomorphism between the cohomology. So, that is if dagger is a. Uh, so to have a good cohomology, we have to go to dagger. So take a pullback to this uh, dagger site and then take a cohomology. So then uh, uh, this coincides uh, with the uh, uh, I don't know uh, the R Higgs of 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 F. So this is a uh, uh, so this is a faulting site. So the cohomology for the faulting site. Uh, so then we can compare and we can we have this isomorphism. And these theorems are actually uh, proved uh, in the faulting uh, paper. So basically the results are the same. But uh, I formulated uh, I just reformulated using. Uh, this this uh, uh, Higgs crystals, and so then, yeah, yeah that's all. <laughs> Any questions or comments? And just uh, does your construction of the factor dr uh, requires a choice of lifting of x to a n? No, no, no. Uh, a replace? Ah, uh, you mean ah? Uh, Just to construct the functor, you need to choose the compatible system of liftings. Mm -hmm. no. no, no, no. So you no. No, just evaluate. So yeah, if you start with a uh, vector bundles, so then you it depends on the lifting. But I start with Higgs crystal, so then it doesn't depend. So if you so, so the lift so you need a lifting to 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 compare the Higgs size crystals and the Higgs bundles. Okay. Yeah. Other questions? Other questions? Yeah. 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 Ah, so so yeah, actually, so yeah, so I didn't explain here, but uh, to construct this functor, if you choose a one lifting, then you can describe this functor in terms of, of certain period rings. And, and, and you can def uh, 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 we can define period rings using uh, uh, this uh, site. And also, uh, uh, Abes and uh, Gro also consider similar period rings. And it looks that they are canonical isomorphism, but actually, we didn't uh, check it yet. I have some idea, but I didn't uh, done yet. I haven't done yet. So maybe just one uh, small question. So how can you describe the smallness in this picture? So precisely because you compare to funding, so maybe just uh, uh, yes, the smallness uh, is uh, 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 corresponds to the convergence uh, where uh, yeah, this convergence, yeah. So. So if you vary, uh, so if you, so the, if you, if you are given a Higgs uh, uh, vector bundle uh, satisfying this, con then uh, the the condition that the uh, convergence uh, holds for some R is equivalent to the smallness of our things. Yeah. So this is exactly the same category. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's no other question. Let's thank the speaker again.